What is the tension in the string in the figure? The volume of the ball is 95 cubic centimeters and the density is 840 kilograms per meters cubed. So let's write those down. They tell us the volume of the plastic ball is 95 cubic centimeters. Let's put that into cubic meters real quick since that's what we're going to need it in. If we move the decimal place over 6, we get 0 0.000095 cubic meters. Now they tell us the row of the ball, or the density of it, is 840 kilograms per cubic meter. And then we have that thing floating in water. So now when we draw our forces on it, we have a tension going down, holding the ball down. We also have the weight of the ball going down, and now we have a buoyant force going up. So if we sum our forces in the y direction, we get the buoyant force minus the tension minus the weight of the ball is equal to zero because it's not accelerating in the y direction. Now they tell us what is the tension in the string. So now let's move over tension. So we add tension to both sides, add tension. So now T is equal to the buoyant force minus the weight of the ball. So plugging in the, uh, the variables for tension and weight, we get T is equal to rho times G times the volume, and this is the volume of the liquid displaced, which will be the same as the volume of the ball, minus the rho times G times the volume of the ball. So when we plug those in, let's come up here. T is equal to rho of water is 1,000 times 9.8, and then times the volume of the ball, which we already figured out was 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 9, 5. That's cubic meters, and then we're going to subtract from that. Let's go even more. Rho g volume of the the ball. So the rho of the ball they tell us was point or not point. Sorry, eight forty kilograms per meter cubed times nine point eight times the same volume zero 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 nine five and five. And we get a tension of 0 0.14896 newtons, or a tension of 0 0.15 newtons.